welcome back to my new video um this video we are going to be using open ai api okay so um more or less like using chat gpt okay so i have my security credentials in this dot env file which i'm importing using this um, code and then i'm grabbing the open AI API key from um, the dictionary using the key. And um, we are going to be using the text DaVinci 003 model. Um, so um, I'm going to define some few functions. I'm going to call it def generate text. And I'm going to pass in the prompt as well as the model, the model type, okay? And um, I'm going to say a response is equal to open AI dot completion. And then I'm going to say create. So I'm going to pass in some few parameters, like the engine is equal to model type and then the prompt is equal to prompt the max tokens we're looking at is um, we're going to use 1024 and then the last one is the temperature we determine the accuracy zero point i'm going to use 0 0.7 for instance and um so at the end of the day i'm going to return response dot choices first element and then um dot text dot strip okay so that is all for this function uh i'm going to make use of this uh function in our endpoint so we're going to say app dot route then i'm going to call it generate um, hyphen text and then it's um post method post i'm going to define the function generate and then I'm going to say data is equal to request dot get JSON. And then we're going to say the prompt is equal to data and we pass in the prompt key. Now we can generate text and then we pass in the prompt and then the model type is going to be model name okay and this is going to return a response object response is equal to that now we can use the jsonify return jsonify and then we pass in response okay so that is all for our endpoint um, so there's nothing to do here. So I'm just going to, um, also, if you don't have open API installed, you can install it using pip install open AI. Okay. That is all you need to do. Okay. So I'm going to put that in the documentation so you can have a use. And also if you don't have the python.env install, you can install it this way. pip install python hyphen dot env. Okay, so I'm going to also put this in the documentation so don't get worried about it. Okay, so now um, we're going to run this Flux application. Um, I think the 
is some error we need to fix. Okay, I think it's forward slash. Okay, so let's rerun again. Okay, so it's running on this port 1957. So let's test um, this endpoint. So we're gonna say, um, generate hyphen text. And um, I'm gonna pass in the prompt. Um, tell me the independence Independence Day of America. Okay, so this is what we want to generate. So I'm going to send that post request. You see the Independence of America is July 4th. Okay, so this this is the, uh, the thing. So let me do another one. When was slavery slavery abolished in the United United States of America? Okay, so I'm gonna send this. You see, slavery was ab officially abolished in the United States of America on December 6, 1865, when the 13th Amendment to the Constitution was uh, ratified, okay? So I can copy the same thing and go to my command prompt and paste this code. And then um, I'll hit enter. You see, it gives us a response object. Okay, so this is how you can use the open AI to generate text, okay? And um, you can practice more on this, um, not too complicated. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.